my channel hello if you're new here i'm daphne oh my days it's been a minute i find it a bit weird doing this whole hi friends i come to my channel but anyhow so i'm back with um the vlogging it's been almost a month i think it's been almost a month so i've been trying to like settle in into the shop and all those things so i want to say thank you once again to whoever came through for um our launch and whoever's been supporting this past three weeks so i want to start a series on my youtube called kampala living because i know it's not very many um people that you know film this kind of thing so i want to start a new series on my youtube called kampala living but it's mainly um lifestyle and where to get things in kampala if you're living in uganda i'm off to the shop i'm gonna go check in i need to create uh some content for the items that we have available it's been a minute like i said i've been trying to settle in it's just been a bit overwhelming but i'm very thankful for the support so i'm back to no more programming yeah i'm going to the shop to film some content i am wearing this beautiful shirt with my brand and yeah I wanted to check in so let's go this is what I'm shooting content for today so I have to shoot content for all these bags So the day has finally come to an end. I'm back home. It is uh, five minutes to ten. I don't usually come home at this time. I got here around, I think, 9.30. But I do close the shop at 8. We close at 8. Sometimes I do leave early. But um, we took a bit long because there's a lot going on. And I've actually spent the whole day creating content. So ever since I opened the shop, I haven't taken any content. Not personal content, not uh, business content, nothing. So it was just me trying to settle into the new environment, which I am so loving. I still do get excited to like wake up and go, you know, do, like just waking up to something. So I'm extremely grateful for that and it still does excite me. Uh, I decided I'm gonna get back to creating content the way I was if you've been following me for a while You know when it comes to my business. I was literally wearing my earrings taking pictures Holding my bags taking videos and pictures and doing all those things. So I'm not letting go of um, the whole online The her options online. I'm still going to create content. I'm still post as usual. So that's what I was um, Back at today. I am really excited. It's it's very it's very exhausting because you have like so many pieces let me say you have like a uh, hundred bags a hundred different designs and you have to create content for all those but then it was a bit hard because when i opened i realized some of the things ended up selling out before i even posted them and i could see there was a change in um, my insights because i wasn't as active so i'm trying to get back to that because i have to keep the business page active so yeah that's what i was doing today it was a typical work day uh, today's a friday so i have a lunch date tomorrow with my friend at um i think around two i'm gonna go take a shower and head to bed Got you guys tomorrow I love it because it has my name. 
These are my go to wipes, they're only 6,000. And also, I've watched a few videos where people are like, Oh, wipes are so bad for your skin. Da, 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 da. If you're taking your makeup off, use cleanser or baby oil or whatever. I've tried using cleanser, like just getting facial cleanser or baby oil and trying to take my makeup off. But I just feel like it never comes off. Like, there's always a bit of it that's gonna remain. So it's I'm just like, you know what, I'll, I'll still use the wipes, so I will use the wipes. I don't, I'm gonna do my skincare, jump into the shower, and yep. friend it was uh you know you know something that you haven't really planned so we just like went to eat um i had sushi it was it was okay um it was a bit of it was a slow night and then at the end of it we actually did have so much fun let me just say something getting ready as a woman is so expensive because if you count the money that you spend if you're gonna get ready you need to do your makeup you need to do your hair uh, maybe you need to do your nails you need to buy an outfit when you count all that money every time you get ready you need to do these things sometimes you have to diy like you can't always go to the salon because i mean hair is very expensive um, makeup is expensive everything is just expensive 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 so I'm off to brunch I'm going for the alchemist brunch I don't know how people do these things and they actually look good they make it look so easy it's so hard I'm wearing quite a basic outfit so I've decided to go in with um, not so basic accessories these earrings are her options and necklaces from her options as well and this is how the hair has turned out hi there so i actually just realized this vlog is all over the place but please bear with me I did go to brunch, I had a good time. Now, the problem is I actually could not vlog because first of all, when you have a camera in public, everyone's looking at you like, what's she doing? What's she doing? So it was a bit weird and then there's like so many people, you can't just be taking videos anyhow because I mean, you might take a video of someone and you know. I'm off to a store opening. Um, and I want to take you guys with me, so I want to go to the store opening. I also need to go check out uh, a new content creator studio, and I need to pass by the shop. I first of all, it's already 1:30, so let's go.
better late than never. ...and find the perfect creators for their campaign. Every single step of your influencer marketing in one place. Because no two marketers run campaigns, here is a true end-to-end -end SaaS solution, which means you can save time and resources. to just start with um, Gracia, tell us a little bit about Old Africa. When did it start? How did it start? Just give us a short background about yourself. Old Africa is an African print brand and I think I was 10 years old when I started Old Africa and it came from a dress I received as a gift for my birthday and I was so displeased and uh, you know just being a child and not knowing why fashion is so important to you I just couldn't get over why I would be gifted such a displeasing, uh, displeasing dress. And today, it's also pretty amazing. I didn't even. We just sent you measurements, and yeah, she's that good. Um, about you over the many years. So I went to school in South Africa. Hi guys. So India, it's closing in. But I think that's where. I got to learn a lot about you, Flally, and it was such an honor for Lucy to ask me to MC because I know about your humble beginning, which is an online beauty specialist platform in SA and in other countries as well. And I'm also the founder of Beauty and the Beat Masterclasses, which is an experience for aspiring makeup artists and beauty enthusiasts. Yeah, and can I just say she supported a local makeup artist today? Just in from there. I was raised by a very powerful woman. Um, well, I look at them as powerful. I'm highly inspired by them. My grandmother, my mom, and my aunt. Uh, I didn't have much of a male figure growing up, and I think I took a lot of things from them. So I used to constantly watch them like get ready. I'd steal my mom's lipsticks. Like I remember, I think I was ten. I wore, took my mom's red lipstick um, to camp. And I was wearing lipstick. My teachers called my mom and said, your daughter is wearing makeup. <laughs> what is happening? So, so I could try and interlink them by then saying to my Instagram um, followers, hi guys, check out my YouTube video. So um, yeah, that's really how I did that. onto the airbus it's beautiful and then you look at the images you can't use them even photo shoots for crew you have to understand when you go onto the airbus 
look at the hairdressers. For example, if someone is having food, is it plated? Right. Um, I will just close by saying I did leave our last meeting and say, give us a seat at the table, you know, get us on board, whether it's in campaigns for Uganda Airlines, if we're not able to be ambassadors, but hear us. And already today, you've met that. You've come here, you've listened to us, you've had the questions, and you do? Is it free and fair? It is free and fair. Do you guys think it was free and fair? Yes. Yeah? So let's just mix these a bit more, yeah? <laughs> let's just do that. Okay, she's shuffling it some, bit, some more. And she's not looking? Okay, here we go, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And the winner of the flight to Dubai on Uganda Airlines is the red part. Sorry. Number zero, zero, five. Congratulations. I think I deserve this. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you why I deserve this for me. I, I always want to be friends for Uganda Airlines. Even before I influence for Emirates, I want to be friends for Uganda Airlines. Like, I went there. For those who didn't win, don't you worry. We might have some other prizes to give away.